All right, today's drill was stepping up one leg at a time to a full stand up. And my job is to transition from open guard to open guard to open guard. I can choose any type of guard I want, but the rules are if Alex can use gravity to guard pass, then he wins, okay? So he steps up one leg at a time. I find my pathway. So if I wanna play K guard, I've gotta use my shields, catching the underhook, drop my legs, find my K guard. He stands all the way up. I transition to whatever guard I want. So if I want X guard, I gotta move my legs one at a time, using my hands, getting into X guard however I can, right? If at any point I make a transition that results in a guard pass, Alex just changes his levels and exposes that guard pass. So as I make my transition, say from K guard to X guard, I keep a shin shield in, I pummel my leg, he can't guard pass. I switch my leg, he can't guard pass. Nice X guard, he can't guard pass. Now he works his way back down. So one knee goes down to the ground. I change my guard. So if I want to go to like a, like a De La Hiva, I can shrimp away, switch my grip, or for a single leg X, right? He drops both legs down. I switch again. Defending the guard the pass the whole time, picking whatever guard I want. So one more time, three steps back up. I choose my guard. If I want to go De La Hiva, I swing over. I play De La Hiva. He stands all the way up. All right, I wanna to go to a uh, inside position. But pummeling my legs through the whole way. He goes back down, all right, I switch. Making sure he can no longer pass my guard. He goes down to both knees down, all right? I switch to however I wanna play from here. But the rule again, the rule again is if I make a transition, go one leg up, that lets him pass my guard, I've exposed a weakness in my open guard transitions. Give it a try.